the joint work between the research institute INRIA in France and the French company Thales. The work called Restore uh, is about uh, the question whether or not it's possible to explore a model uh, that has potentially been backdoored and maybe extract information from that model and uh, check whether or not we can recover that backdoor and maybe do something about it. So at first I will start with a bit of a background on what is a backdoor, how does it work on classifiers. And given that, um, that um, um, uh, let's say, that background, I will uh, go on to, call about to talk about the research context, the core idea, and introduce the core of our paper, which is using rare event simulation to defend against those backdoors. I will then go over experiments and finally conclude. So from a very high level bird's eye view setup, uh, what we have seen over the whole conference is that typically we address the security of neural networks, uh, of uh, machine learning models, uh, all across their whole um, uh, life cycle, something we can also call a supply chain. So we uh, understand it from the confidentiality perspective, the integrity perspective, or the availability, per availability perspective. And in the, as the name of the session means, we are interested about integrity, and more specifically, backdoors. So what is, what is a backdoor? A backdoor is a training or deployment time attack whose role is to inject into a model uh, some wrong, erroneous behavior that can be activated at test time. This behavior, which is malicious, needs to be reliable in the sense that the model must appear completely benign from the perspective of a victim. Of course, that backdoor must be stealthy. It must be... Uh, no, it must avoid detection at any point before an attacker can, uh, can use it. So the activation must need to be covered. And finally, because we are talking about an attack, it needs to be effective, having a high attack success rate or ASR. And for example, in the case of classification, one of the most typical use uh, for backdoors is to do a label flip, where we go from, let's say, a ship to a, um, a cat. So backdoor attacks arise in a lot of situations from data collection uh, manipulation, from model arch architecture manipulation, training environment, and one of the topics that will interest me is outsourcing third parties. Because we are in the context where when you are using models, maybe those are pre-trained, or maybe you are using a model that has been, I don't know, compiled or that, uh, that has been, uh, uh, let's say, uh, provided from someone else. And so the question is, we are facing a situation where the important problem is that the supply chain, at some point, has been uh, compromised. And this leads to something that is very important in terms of security, which is how do you address a black box situation where you have no information about the weights, because maybe you are buying an API access to a model, or you have no information about the training data itself. So you just have a black box which you can interrogate. And the issue here is that in the case of backdoors, activation are far too many to cover usually. You may have local patterns, you may have diffuse pattern, or anything uh, under the sun, from um, uh, image warping attacks, parse layers, stenoganography. It can go on, it goes on, on and on, and it's quite a difficult thing to address. So the question is, how do you, how do you address uh, this issue of black box attacks? So here, we made a key observation, which are backdoor data point tend to have outsized impact on the output of a model, whether it is, for example, a high logit or a high probits, or when you take all those backdoor inputs as a whole, maybe a heightened number of misclassification or impact on labels. So the question we had is that if backdoor data point can be understood as outliers, rare event, can we use a method to sample them and maybe use a rare event simulation method to highlight that the model has been backdoored? And maybe, recover the trigger of the backdoor itself. So our toolbox is a rare event simulation because you could sample the whole space of images across uh, an a model, but it's quite, um, let's say, uh, it's wasteful. Using Monte Carlo is clearly a waste of time, so what we are using is a type of rare event simulation that does splitting. We are going to assume that the input of perturbation to uh, uh, the, the space of perturbation to inputs of a model can be split into increasingly high performing perturbation, which we can sample with, a, for example, an estimated probability associated with it, and maybe define a trajectory in a kind of a Monte Carlo uh, simulation where we are going to retrieve increasingly higher scoring patterns. This has been used in the past in uh, certification of neural network models. And the idea here is maybe we can use that 
and uh, in another setting, backdoor defenses. So this is the most important slide of the presentation. We are uh, using a method which is called important splitting, uh, but which we will uh, keep to the term rare event simulation. So what is our goal? We are going to iterate over a model uh, using a very few clean samples which we can collect online. Uh, let's say um, nine images, for example, one for uh, each uh, a s a small set of class, benign class, for example, we are going to test one class of a model for backdoors, and we are going to use a sampling system where we are going to sample perturbation over the small set of inputs. And our goal is to basically iterate over this set of patterns, remove the lowest scoring one, and regenerate from the one we have kept a new set of patterns which will increasingly have a high score. So this type of method, uh, which uh, will allow us two outputs which we can observe. The first one is something called a probability score map, because we are doing a sampling process. So each iteration gives us a probability, an estimated probability. Afterward, because each uh, setup has a, a score associated with it, for example, the score of the logits given those perturbation, or the score of the probits, or even, for example, an average, so the number of misclassification toward a specific class, we have uh, a map which maybe can reveal a backdoor because a backdoor is an injected behavior and therefore it's something that is new into a model which should not exist in a normal model. So maybe we can use that to differentiate backdoor class from uh, benign classes. And something I've not mentioned is that it is an offline uh, method which needs to run over the classes you are most worried about. So offline, uh, as it is offline, we can basically have a budget of in iteration of queries. And finally, because this is a sampling system, at the end of the running of this method, we get a set of perturbation, which we hope may be recovering the trigger associated with the backdoor itself. So what do we have in the end? We may have a method which allows us three things. First, assessment, because we can compare the classes within a model and maybe separate backdoor classes from um, standard classes. Maybe we have a way to do reconstruction of the trigger. And finally, because we reconstruct a trigger, maybe we can do something with those and do something called impute purification, where you try to clean test time input uh, to that model. And this is a core, uh, this is the name of the paper called Restore. So our experimental context is a gradation of increasingly uh, uh, more complex models, starting from NIST, but going up to Keja Webface, where we end up having a model with uh, more than 200 classes. And here we are going to test three backdoor attacks, BadNet, a local patch, SIG, a diffuse patch across uh, the input of a model, and OneNet, which is an input perturbation using a warping field. And here, what we see is our first question, our first result is about assessment. Do we differentiate classes in a model which are backnot or not? So what you are seeing on the screen right now are those threshold score maps given by the sampling process. And what we see is that in the case of backdoors, so on the left on the Kija web face data sets, we can actually differentiate the class that has been backdoored with bad nets compared to standard classes. Same with one net. However, this at a larger scale, so larger data set, does not work for SIG, which I will cover at the end as one of the future direction. But, for example, in the case of SIG, we can still recover the presence of the backdoor on a mixed model. So this, is the first so this was the first point. Can we assess the presence of a backdoor class in model? Answer is yes. Then the question is, does the pattern we have sampled through the process after some iterations uh, provide us a pattern or a set of patterns which recover something strange? So how do we, you mean, what do you, I mean by strange is that the pattern that we recover is first specific to the backdoor class, because maybe we would recover adversarial uh, attacks, something like that. But actually what we find is that by searching an input, uh, the input-output space of a model using uh, relevant simulation, we can actually go toward uh, patterns which are specific to backdoors and happen to, in the case of local uh, patterns, reconstruct the trigger itself. So for example, this happens when we use logits, probits, or hard labels. And here, for example, we show that those patterns are specific to the target class. Finally, because we have those patterns, especially in the case of local, uh, local backdoors, we have the question of whether or not we can use them to recover the original meaning of the image. 
maybe we can do something called input purification, which is a process where you do not assume as a defender that you can detect whether an input sent by a user is backdoored on or not. You can only do one transformation over everything coming up to you. This is done usually using GANs or MAEs, where you try to mine the space of an input and uh, try to find weird areas in that input to remove them and reconstruct them using generative approaches. This is unfortunately quite slow, and the more, more problematically, it uses models that have been sourced online. And this just extends the issue of security because you end up having generative models which you do not know the source. So here what we've done is using restore, which is just a subtractive approach. So if a backdoor is x plus t, why don't we do x minus what we have recovered? And in some simple case like bad nets, we end up decreasing the ASR by up to 90%, which surely is not state of the art, but it is much faster than method like BDMEA, which ends up being uh, the state of the art in terms of black box defenses. And this, however, is uh, something that does not work for SIG. As I mentioned, SIG is a very hard case for backdoors, and all methods using input purification do not cover this case. So this will be a future direction for the work. But something very interesting is that what we have found is that this type of subtractive approach works for one net. The question is why? So uh, an educated case here is that um, doing some subtraction to the space of an input which has been backdoored with image warping, uh, works because image warping leaves some sort of input-output variation that can be recovered using relevant simulation. <laughs> Our method, just as a last slide before concluding, uh, is that uh, we have tested it against adapta adaptative adversaries. Does our method work against dynamic triggers? Unfortunately, because our purification method is so simple, uh, it, the, the purification method does not work against a dynamic trigger, but we can still recover it uh, using our assessment method and our uh, pattern recovery system. These also somewhat work on attacks using all class, backd all class being backdoored, because when all class is backdoored, all classes look weird during doing the assessment. And finally, when you try to do logit obfuscation, which should work against this type of attack, well, uh, this type of defenses, well, because what we are doing is creating and sampling perturbation from benign classes to uh, a potentially backdoored one, Trying to log it obfuscate does not uh, defend against, a, does not break our defense. What does actually break the defense typically is more, uh, is our more uh, stronger um, uh, attacks like uh, um, input specific attacks, which are to, uh, up to today the state of the art in terms of attack regarding backdoors. So if I were to give you a key message of the presentation, Raven simulation is a new tool that can be used to address uh, the problem of backdoor attacks, more of an early warning for users who want to test the model before deploying it, because it allows you to assess the presence of a backdoor, reconstruct the trigger, sometimes when the trigger is simple, but also it, uh, it gives you an idea that maybe there are more parsimonious ways to do per input purification. This situation is that relevant simulation is useful because we only have weak assumption. It's purely black box. We do not require supplemental DNN. And uh, that will be all. Thank you very much for your attention, and I will take your question. <laughs>